were paired up front. For the visitors, Jim Layton was hoping to continue last week's good form and goal, while it was to prove a memorable match for young defender Stephen Tweed. The referee, Hugh Dallas from Bonko, and commentator, Jerry McNee. So away we go, in what used to be the Battle of the Greens, but uh, Hibs in uh, purple outfits this afternoon. And right away, it's Celtic pushing forward through Peter Grant. And the big Celtic support here this afternoon getting right behind the team. But the interception there from Gordon Hunter. That's clipped forward by Brian Hamilton. Knocked away by McNally, not very effectively though. And the cover provided by Darius Dovchek, good defending. So the game off at a cracking pace. And Hibs won the corresponding fixture here last year by three goals to two, ending Celtic's ten-game unbeaten record. And they've had a good record against Celtic here over the past few seasons. But a free kick awarded against Darren Jackson, who's the Hibs captain this afternoon. Well, as we've seen before, Gary Stubchek can fairly crack them with that left foot of his, but uh, a bit of movement there. But here's Dovchek now, sending it in, it's a great effort! Well, Jim Layton at full stretch there. And the ball coming off the inside of the post. Well, a terrific strike by the Polish defender off the inside of the post. Lit and beaten to the world. And applause ringing round the ground for Darius Dubček, who scored three goals last season. Grant switching it to Dubček. Now it's Collins. And Dave Bowman's in there. But, uh, Tibbs dithering a bit. And uh, McIverney causing some problems, but uh, Tommy McIntyre responding. This is Dovchek to Collins. It's Collins against Beaumont. And McGinley at full stretch for that, but it picks away to Willie Miller. Perhaps a chance for Hibs to break out now. And a sliding challenge going in from Stephen Tweed. Celtic take the throw in quickly. First touch from Nicholas. He takes a return from McAvenny. It's Nicholas! Respond. This is Beaumont. High one in, testing Bonner, and it's well handled. Is uh, Keith Wright threatened? A big season this for Pat Bonner, of course, back in the Celtic side, holding his place, and of course, hoping to go into the World Cup finals with the Republic of Ireland. But that was excellent handling by the big fella. Uh, Celtic certainly have an appetite for this game, and Hibbs. Well, pinned well back. Here comes Nicholas again. Can he weave some more magic here? Brilliant play by Nicholas. The save from Leighton. And the ball coming off. McAvenny and going behind for the goal kick. Brilliant play again by Charlie Nicholas. Well, it's been a few years since we've seen him jump past opponents. He seems to have lost that ability, but he says he's got his strength back. His pre-season's gone well. And great to see him taking on opponents again and combining well with McAvenny. Uh, can McAllister do something to unlock Celtic? He plays it to Beaumont. That same in towards Darren Jackson. Ball just behind him. And the ball is still in play. Everyone's stopping. But uh, McAllister didn't. There's Jackson! And well taken by Bonner. Well, that's a lesson for the Celtic defenders. Everyone thought the ball was going out of play, but McAllister chased it, got in a very good cross, and Celtic could have paid the penalty there. 
That injection's free header. Awarded Celtic's way and again Stephen Tweed. The next day, shouting towards Peter Grant to go into a wide left position over to the left side of the penalty area. So again, it's taken for Dovchek. Almost breaking through to McAvenny. He's challenged all the way there by Tommy McIntyre. Well, the Celtic fans howling that McAvenny was impeded by McIntyre. The referee well up with the play. The ball taking a slight deflection off the wall, and he was certainly held there by McIntyre. But uh, Hibbs get away with it. This is Hamilton, but uh, well challenged. He's still battling away for it. But actually, next to Collins. This is mixed day. Good play by McStay, steps away from Darren Jackson. That's a great ball through to McAvenny, who's onside. Seemed in toss, Charlie Nicholas. Well, it was an awkward one for Nicholas, but he still managed to put pressure on Jim Layton. It's a great ball through to McAvenny. An excellent cross right to Nicholas, chested it down, the bounce went against him. And uh, good handling there by Jim Layton in these wet conditions. Galloway finding Collins uh, via the head of McAllister. This is McStay. Good positive play by Paul McStay. Well, he certainly got plenty of power into that effort. And it carried off uh, McIntyre. This is Darren Jackson now. Not the most effective of clearances straight to Peter Grant. Finds Galloway. And he's got a bit of space. Again late. Through for Boyd, the early cross in. And Tweed diving in just ahead of McAvenny to send the ball behind for the corner kick. Good play on the right by Tom Boyd, showing plenty of pace and hitting in the first time cross. And there was Tweed coming in just ahead of McAvenny. And it will be an in swinger from the left foot of Darius Dovchek. And punched away by Leighton. Well, Excellent corner kick, and Celtic really must use this man's talents throughout the season. He's got a very gifted left foot, and they had Jim Layton scrambling there. Through to McAllister. Hamilton trying to find Keith Wright. The ball's spinning away, though. And again, McNally's on the spot. And that's a free kick. Against Tweed. Well, he's going to have to be careful. He's conceded a number of free kicks against Charlie Nicholas. We'll have to watch out for a yellow card. Pat McGinley getting the touch there. Now it's Nicholas, it's Collins! Well, Pat McGinley initially was involved along with Charlie Nicholas and then Collins sending in that spinning shot which was handled by Jim Layton this is Tweed nice little layoff there by Donald almost finding Darren Jackson Celtic have it again through McAvenny tough check down the line for Collins it's a good ball and well controlled Celtic getting plenty of players forward here McGinley's coming in at the far post Charlie Nicholas almost getting onto the end of that. It was a great ball from Dubcek through to Collins, who controlled it well. He sent the ball to the far post. McKinley was racing in, got his head to the ball. Nicholas then just failing to make contact. Well, it's been a good first half for Charlie Nicholas. Keith Wright trying to get forward. It's cleared though by Boyd. Headed down by McAvenny. This is McGinley. Breaks to Nicholas. McGinley again. I want to lose a second one here. Just on the interval, and that's uh, McAllister bringing down McStay, but in fact the half-time whistle sounds, applause rings all around Celtic Park. A good first half by Celtic and by Charlie Nicholas, a delightful goal after ten minutes, cutting in from the right, playing a delightful one-two with Frank McAvenny, and then 
picking his place in the back of the net. The half-time score here at Parkhead, Celtic 1, Hibernian 0. Sinister Connections. One, Missing Squadron. Two, Alligators in City Sewers. Three, Berlin Wall Falls. Four, Coca-Cola Launch Tab Clear. A sugar-free soft drink with a mysterious new flavor and completely clear. Suddenly, everything becomes clear. Head of Soviet forces is served Tab Clear in very cold glass, which sticks to his lip. He complains of glass frost. His generals hear glasnost. The Berlin Wall falls. Kremlin files are flung open to reveal the alligators in city sewers are in fact Russian mini-subs. Abandoned without maintenance, the subs self-destruct. The resultant cloud of steam drifts over the Bermuda Triangle, causing the disappearance of 371 Squadron. Or so they claimed when they were later discovered in Big Lou's Waikiki Bar on Sunset Strip. Tab clear. Suddenly, everything is clear. Try it. There you are. It's the Astra airbag demo, JD. I'm afraid they haven't delivered a dummy. What? Well, how can I proceed without a dummy? JD, QE. Sorry, I'm late. Not only do these Astra specials include sunroof, body-colored mirrors, and tinted glass, they also boast a full-size driver's airbag. Observe. Atkins? Atkins? Only kidding, JD? <laughs> the Astra Specials, California Diamond Cesaro Club. Would you recommend your motor insurance company to a friend? Is that what you're paying? You know who you should call. Oh. Well, each year, ooh, hundreds of thousands of people do just that. <laughs> Direct line insurance. We come highly recommended. Call 041-226-2468. Vincent van Gogh, genius or madman? How did he see the world? And why did he paint what he did the way he did? Find out in part one of The Great Artists. It has page after page of his paintings and fascinating insights into the forces that drove him. With fine art prints and art postcards to collect, van Gogh is the first in a weekly series on the world's great artists. And part one costs just 35 pence. The Great Artists. Are they? They're not mine. They're certainly not yours. So what are you talking they? about? What have you been up to? Nothing. It's not the first time. You've been two-timing me, haven't you? What? I'm not going to stay here and be insulted. Oh, really? Time for a sharp exit. Time for a cool, sharp hub. Jackson McAllister, who start the second half for Hibbs. Well, as I said earlier, Hibbs uh, have a good record against Celtic in recent seasons. They came out with four points apiece last season, and it was the same the season before that. And if Hibbs have to get themselves back into this game, no doubt they'll be looking to Darren Jackson and Keith Wright, who both scored in three of the four meetings between the sides last season. Both Liam Brady and Joe Jordan, well, despite... <laughs> The gestures are not unhappy with the way their team are playing. And it's Donald playing it through, looking for Keith Wright. Across comes McNally. He answers the referee. <laughs> McNally and Wright uh, colliding. But, uh, both are back on their feet. Looks like they get the crowd going. And while play continues, but uh, the Referee stepping in now, he's been signalled by his linesman. Certainly after Wright challenged McNally, the players clashed again just after that. And this is perhaps what the linesman is pointing out. So the referee being guided by the linesman. He 
he's coming over Tom Boyd. Now this is this must be a case of mistaken identity, surely. McNally and White had collided. There was a little spat off the ball then. But, uh, the linesman are way across on the far side of the field. Wouldn't have the best of views. And you can see McNally here with Keith White. Now, the Celtic fans wanted a foul for that. It wasn't awarded. And uh, as both players get back to their feet, they collided again, which left uh, Keith Wright on the ground. Well, that will certainly cause a bit of controversy. It's all a bit frantic at the moment. A uh, very high boot there by Brian Hamilton against Charlie Nicholas. It's a free kick to Celtic. Well, it's threatening a bit to get out of hand. The players really will have to calm it down a bit. Galloway clips the ball forward, McGinley's fine space! Well, what a chance for Pat McGinley, the ball played through right into his path, he controlled it well. Leighton was coming to beat him, but uh, he probably should have done better, and he knows it. This is Darren Jackson, good play by Jackson. McAllister trying to get through, but uh, handball against the Hibernian player, and uh, some reactions there from Galloway and uh, Jackson, but the referee coming it down. But it appeared that uh, McAllister handled the ball as he fell to the ground. And Alec McNally was going in there, but the referee indicated that uh, despite the attentions of McNally, it was handball against McAllister. McIntyre now for Hibbs. Returned by McNally. Miller. Keith Wright giving chase. McNally's in there with him. This is Nicholas. But, uh, losing out there to Stephen Tweed. Hamilton plays it through. It's cut out there by Dovchek. Through for McStay. Collins breaking in the left. So it's cut out by Vermont. Now it's Hunter. Galloway under a bit of pressure, but he responds well. There's a one-two with Dubcek. Uh, Tom Heather coming in there from Dave Beaumont. It's nicely taken by McStay. Plays it through now for the pace of Peyton. Well, can he make an impression here while well, he stumbles at the vital moment? Well, it's difficult for a player coming on into a game of this pace. Uh, initially he controlled it well but at the vital moment he failed to make proper contact just too high there for Darren Jackson and it was Galloway who got the initial touch and now Dovchek playing it through looking for Payton this is mixed day Payton there's crowded in the edge of that Hibs penalty area players getting very little space this is McGinley Boyd trying to play it through. It's hooked away though by Finlay, the substitute. Returned by McNally. Nice little touch there. The chance is on for Charlie Nicholas. And Leighton put a leg to the ball. And it went behind for the corner kick. But a delightful touch here by Pat McGinley. A little flick on with his head. Nicholas did everything right. And uh, the ball coming off Leighton's leg and going behind for the corner. So that will be the in swinger from Dovchek, McNally has gone right up onto the goal line well, Dovchek caused problems in the first half of this kind of header there's Payton's attempt it's cleared eventually by Beaumont it's Boyd's header, it's cut out by Miller he finds right it's Miller again And that's a free kick against Mark McNally for his challenge on McAllister, who's out on the left side now. So it's played short to McAllister. And in the final minutes ticking away. Can Hibbs do something here? Oh, it's a marvellous goal. 
and it's Stephen Tweed. We hit that one on the volley. 83 minutes gone. And Hibs get themselves back into the game. Well, it all began with McNally's challenge to give away the free kick. McAllister whipped the ball in. Celtic failed to get it clear properly. A little overhead kick there from McIntyre. And how about that for a volley from Stephen Tweed? 21 last Sunday. And that's a moment you'll remember. It's Celtic 1, Hibernian 1. It's Dovchek sending a long one in. It's headed away by Tweed. This is Hamilton. Finlay. White going for it, but uh, challenged all the way by Dovchek. This is Grant. Switch of play to Tom Boyd. It's left by Payton. McGinley's in there. Trying to knock it into the path of John Collins. Leighton's lost it. And Collins trying the back heel flick, but the ball going behind for the goal kick. Well, Jim Leighton appeared to have that ball. It broke away from him. The deep cross going in, and uh, McGinley again trying a deaf little flick. Uh, trying to find Collins. Leighton seemed to have it. It broke away from him. Then Collins tried to back heel the ball, but uh, it came off him and uh, went behind for the goal kick. This is Darren Jackson, very much on his own. Trying to put McNally under pressure. And a long kick from Bonner. McGinley goes for it, but William Miller wins it. It's touched on there by Farrell. But the offside flag had gone up against uh, Darren Jackson. And uh, it's a free kick for Celtic. A long ball now from Boyd. And he'll put it in, here's Payton! And it's hooked behind by Bowman. Well, it was only inches away from Payton. He couldn't quite get the direction he wanted on it. The ball flooded in there. And he was at full stretch. So the corner kick comes in. The header, oh, it's a tremendous save by Jim Layton. Brian O'Neill with the header from point blank range. Well, I just said that they scored the two goals against Hibs when Celtic beat them last year. They almost did it again. But a marvellous save by Leighton, an international class save. There he is again. The chance is on here, though, for Galloway. He drives it through the header there for McNally. And another tremendous save by Jim Leighton. McNally's header. And Jim Leighton has certainly earned his money this afternoon. Galloway drove it through. The first time header there for McNally. A tremendous reflex save by Leighton. Two marvellous saves in the space of a minute. Still Celtic driving forward, we're well into injury time now. And the ball goes out of play for the throw to Celtic. This is McStay to Boyd. Boyd driving in, Payton going for it. Still it's Payton trying to drive his way through, he's forced wide up. The tackle going in from Miller, Celtic have the throw in. We've played over a minute of injury time. And the ball goes behind for the corner. This could be the last chance of the match, not behind there by Tommy McIntyre. Well, you can see all the anguish there in the Celtic bench. Denied twice by Jim Layton. And the corner kick driven into the near post. It's Hamilton who gets the touch. It's still in play. It's Dovchak sending it in. Collins trying to keep the ball in play. This is Galloway. Galloway stabbing the ball over the crossbar and that could be the final chance of the match we've played almost two minutes of injury time Alec Miller telling his man to keep things as calm as possible now Liam Brady's face tells a story of a match that looked to be won and now it looks as though a point will be dropped and Alec Miller will be the happier manager tonight no doubt about that it's Galloway Getting away from Darren Jackson, but Keith Wright stepping in now. McNally responding, getting it to Boyd. This is Galloway. Of course, stumbling all over the place. And it's all over. The final whistle sounds. Well, an afternoon of some drama. And all beginning in the 10th minute with a delightful goal by Charlie Nicholas, playing a 1-2 with McAvenny and sending a ball into the back of the net. Then Hips fighting their way 
back into the game after 83 minutes. A tremendous volley by Stephen Tweed. And then Jim Layton with two terrific saves to keep Hibs very much in the match. The final score here at Parkhead, Celtic 1.